All right, this is Shane Simmons, the Appalachian Project, and I am in Churchill, Tennessee, just a little bit outside of Kingsport, and I'm going to a place called Sensabaugh Tunnel. This is actually the Click Tunnel, as any local will be quick to point out to you, and I'm sure they'll hear that in the comments. Uh, but this is where most of the stories that people talk about now, they come down here and check this place out, supposedly haunted. You can barely see the hand in front of your face, as you can tell. It's definitely a creepy drive down here, regardless of whether it's haunted or not. I wrote about this place in the book. I, oh, by the way, the other one, the other tunnel that's supposedly the real Sensabaugh Tunnel, I've got a video. I tried to take one tonight, but it, you just can't see it. So I've got an old video that I did in the daytime that you can look up on our YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing that. But I wrote about this story in my book. There's about two or three stories that float around about this. And it is... The biggest one, the one that's most prevalent is that there was a family, a Sensabaugh family. They came home and there was a robber in the house. And the robber took their infant daughter as hostage and escaped, used her to escape. And then she just became extra baggage that they didn't want to have. So he ended up drowning her and alongside. There's a little water, uh, water that runs alongside the tunnel. So he drowned her and, and then put her body in the tunnel. Oops. That'll probably come back to haunt me when I have a flat tire. I just went into a pothole. Another story talks about a teenage girl who was pregnant and supposedly got stabbed so many times she was just mutilated. Nobody could even make her body out. And then yet another one said there was a sense of all family and the man murdered his family and buried their bodies in the tunnel. So pick your poison. Here we are. This thing is really neat and creepy, mainly because of the all the graffiti on it. Hopefully, you can see a little bit of that. I'll zero in. It's actually pretty deep water right now, so I'm not going to be able to go in there like I was hoping. That's about flooded out. We just got hammered with uh, some rain and hail. And it is absolutely a mess right now. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get in here. But I wanted to give you a chance to take a look at that. One of the more infamous stories from the Kingsport, Sullivan County area. And it is definitely a creepy sight to behold. And I'm trying to come back here some other time. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a look at it here for, for the Halloween season. I will sign off and check you out on the next video.